I'm going to teach you some good beginner tricks um, for when you master the cascade, meaning you can do at least 100 throws or so. Don't attempt these tricks if you can't do that yet. Just keep practicing your cascade. Um, let's see, all the jugglers, tennis, columns, under the arm, cross arms, um, just some basic tricks. They're fairly easy, really simple, nothing too complicated, and you should get there pretty easily. This trick is two balls in one hand. Very simple. All you do, grip your balls like this, and throw one up, when it comes back down, throw the other up. I'm usually juggling, let's see, that would be clockwise for you, um, but when you're juggling it should look like, if you're doing it in your left hand, it'll look like counterclockwise, if you do it in your right hand, it'll look like clockwise to you. Try not to juggle outward like this, it's a lot harder, this is what most people do for some reason. I find it much easier to stay on that two-dimensional plane, just keep going sideways. Just like a three wall cascade, except the walls are going straight up, coming straight down. Nice little pattern. And this is also how you juggle four walls, except you do two patterns at the same time. Another two-hand trick you can do is the same as the regular shower, except in a different direction. Another good two-ball pattern is columns, except two balls in one hand looks like this. Just like the other uh, two ball in one hand shower, it's pretty similar except the balls are just going straight up, straight down. Juggler's tennis is a really simple yet entertaining trick. It looks neat for your audience and it's pretty easy to do. So start with your cascade, like with most tricks. Then whenever you feel ready, take one ball and throw it over the top of the pattern like that. It's basically a reverse uh, cascade, which I'll teach later, except only one throw. You do it both ways. In fact, make sure you can do it both ways. So that way you can go back and forth. And I guess it looks sort of like a game of tennis. So notice how the ball going back and forth is always the same one. I'll light it up so you can tell the difference. The other two are just staying next to each other the whole time. Reverse cascade is basically the same thing as cascade except backwards. If you think of cascade as a figure eight going like this, reverse cascade is the opposite. So once you can do a juggler's tennis, you should be able to do reverse cascade or vice versa. Start with your regular pattern, then whenever you're ready, throw one ball over the top and have the rest follow, like so. It's a little harder than regular cascade, you can probably see why. Still, very simple beginner trick. In columns, all you're doing is take your dominant hand, I left hand, so just mirror this, do it in your right, and do two handed columns. Then, when the outer ball goes up, you throw the remaining ball up. the middle ball. It's doing its own thing, like in some other tricks. You can alternate hands if you want. There are many variations you can do with columns. This one is fake columns, which is sort of a beginner way, or easier way of doing regular columns. All you do is do two hand columns in one hand, the other hand go like this. Pretty weird looking but get the job done. Here's one of my favorite tricks. It's called three ball flash. It's a good starter trick, meaning at, uh, before your performance, you just do the trick from the beginning. All you do is get it so that all three balls are in midair at the same time, and then catch them. Now, don't just like throw them up like that, although that is possible. Just throw them up like, you, like you're doing a really fast cascade, and they should fall into place. I usually start with my left hand, let's see if I can even do it with my right. Yeah. You can also do it in the middle of the pattern. Pretty fun trick. Here's another good one. Under the arm. While you're juggling, simply take one ball, throw it like that. It will 
will still go into your opposite hand. It should look like this. You can alternate. Like that. And at that point, you're almost doing Mill's Mess. Not quite. Still very fun trick. Thanks for watching. I hope you can perform some of my tricks.